Welcome gamers to our twisted reality and his belly laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Joystick, the joystick show. All right, we're recording, right? This is show 138A. We are the joystick show. We're coming at you. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. We're just beat down. We're having a good time here. Um, really not doing a lot of gaming, but we are talking video games. And uh, just off uh, mic before we start, is like, what are we playing? Is there anything that's um, new and exciting? <laughs> and of course, we have uh, some news on that too we want to talk about. As far as the industry of video games in general, um, if you're first time checking out the show, we are the Joystick Show. We go by our gamer tags, and I am Bogue Spear. I'm Think 12. Think 12 of my son, and we are a generational father and son combo talking video games and trying to, uh, I don't know, traverse and navigate through this crazy world that is uh, the gaming front. So, um, to get started, if they want to be a part of the show, how do they join us? Uh, you can contact us at joystick underscore show on Twitter, joystickshow.com, joystickshow at gmail.com, um, or Discord at joystick show. I guess it's always important just to say it, right? Just mm-hmm. be out there. You mm-hmm. never know. Um, so let's uh, talk. Of course, before we do, we got our segment sponsor. It is that time of year as, as the snow is outside building up on the sills, the window sills, right? You got this little background, just picture it, the background music of, of Xmas and the winter wonderland, right? Hot Otter Milk Cocoa. Delivered to your door this holiday season, make yourself a warm cup of Hot Otter Milk. It's cocoa, a texture like no other, and mm mm-mm good to the last drop. Or order your pack of platypus sausage rolls and recycled crackers from the dust of spawned tortoise shells. Along with it, make it the perfect Xmas gift for that exotic loved one in your life. Go to Hot Otter Milk Cocoa today and use promo code. Was it code? Code Joy to the World for twenty percent off. Delicious. You're a cocoa fan, right? Yeah. Would you drink that? Mm, sh- yep. Yeah, of course you would. Why? They're a sponsor. sponsor yeah. Is exactly. You got to. I don't know about the tortoise shell dust, but we'll give it a shot. Mm. What the heck? All right. Let's talk on the gaming front where we talk about what we're playing, what's what's happening, what's exciting us, and what's not. So where are you at? What's going on? Um, well, I, uh, I've heard... I haven't been playing anything, uh, I guess, different, I don't think. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about a game that I might pick up called Lethal Company. I've had a few people tell me it's really good. Uh, it's just like a horror game, kind of like what I used to play with Phasmophobia or something like that. Yeah. You just get together with your friends and you, uh, you kind of just solve, I guess, tasks in like a in a horror environment. Right. Um, now is that like the game? What was that one with the flashlight? You walked in the house and have to. That was Phasmophobia. That yeah. was okay. That was cool. Um, that but was cool. yeah, I mean, otherwise, I'm not playing really anything except the past few weeks. Um, Fortnite did a thing where they brought back all, like, they, they reverted the game back to, um, 2017 when it first came out, which is when everyone was playing it. Yeah. Um, and so... You mean where they had the big crater, um, uh um, map Uh and everything? Basically just the same map as, uh, what it used to be. And so everybody came back to that game. A ton of people were playing it, and so I got to play that a little bit. And just as of yesterday, they reverted it, or they, they moved on to the next season. So they got rid of all the old stuff. They brought it back to what it was. Yeah. And it's just not good. It's no. just not fun. They just um, try to get everybody back in as you keep playing it now. Yeah, like, but no. it's not fun. Well, um, I don't know. I played with uh, Bogalicious the other night. We did. There's a mod that's called, what was it, South Park? Mod? Yeah. Have you played that. it? No. I mean, all that stuff is, like, there's some fun things you can do, like, um, like just, uh, one v one against your friends and things like that. Right. But the actual core game itself is oh, not. Oh, okay. As cool. Well, this was cool because it was kind of like an arena in the middle of it, and you yeah. could get it gave you every 
possible uh, like weapon, including like you could like fly broomsticks mm -hmm. and and uh, shoot, and you could do some crazy. Yeah, there's. I mean, yeah, you can do a lot like, of crazy stuff. Cool sword in the game now. and everything, right? Um, but that was kind of cool. I like that mod. I mean, I was actually interested in that, playing that for a little bit, which is rare. Yeah, but, but I don't know. I think it gets it gets old. Yeah, well, um, yeah, old isn't like I played once. Maybe that's in there well, twice. Yeah. But okay, but that's pretty much it. That's all you got going on. Yep. Um, well, for me, I was uh, still working some Baldur Gate, uh, playing that. Matter of fact, I'll be jumping on that probably tonight um, or tomorrow again. Uh, making our way in a very, very vast game mm -hmm. that uh, has been crazy. Of course, I haven't had a lot of time working on it because I'm trying to work on that pro uh, prototype for the board game and get mm -hmm. that ready to go. I got less than a year now to get this thing done and out. Mm. So we'll see. Um, uh, how the, Actually, less than what, 10 months actually oh my gosh anyways um i did uh, but i will say when i was playing uh i did watch some videos um and it was all video game related on design since i'm doing board game designing mm -hmm. um i said let's take a look at video games there's a couple of indie companies that want uh you know to teach you how to do games and that type of stuff but i was just curious as to how it correlated and the cool thing is i watched this entire thing on first of all the snap the guy who made snap mm -hmm. did you watch that video i sent it to you i didn't oh my gosh you gotta watch that video it is so it's like cool. a, just an interview with yeah um, with a designer and the creator yeah on it i've seen a few of those i don't think i saw yeah the one that you it was did. actually interesting i don't think you'd be bored of it if you watched um because he talks about you know, I, yeah how like the game evolved and what it looked like originally mm -hmm. had screenshots oh maybe everything. i did see that was it a while ago did it come out no, it was at the gaming something convention, the game designer convention. I thought it was this year. Oh, Maybe convention? Selection. Okay. Well, but, I saw I saw a different thing if I'm explaining it, but... Yeah, well, he might have used that PowerPoint somewhere else, too, mm -hmm. but um, it was really cool listening to him talk about, yeah. you know, like, the, what makes the game exciting. I mean, still playing it now. You know, I just played it before we started this uh, episode, uh -huh. um, and that's a rarity, right? A game lasts that long. Yeah. Um, though, I will say, I mean, I'm looking for some kind. I mean, it seems like I just keep grinding to 80, and that's it, and then grinding to 80, and that's mm -hmm. it, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. Know. I think um, the fun part of it is just collecting cards and everything, but once you collect all of the main ones and the, the only ones left to get are the ones that you need to get out of the caches, which are only once a week, or the um, tokens, which yeah. take forever now. Yeah. It just, the fun part about, fun a big part of what made the game fun is now kind of gone um, for the most part until yeah. you get enough tokens to collect those cards. And then it's fun again for like a week, and then it kind of goes back into the yeah the grind, the grind again. So I don't know. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Um, I mean, I think I just have like certain cards that I love, Eliath, and I love uh, a couple that you just love playing, you know. Yeah. Um, when it comes out, but um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that was stamp. Oh, and the other one that I was watching was uh, have you ever played uh, Plants vs Zombies? Yeah. Did you? A few times, Have yeah. you? Have you bought the mobile version or the... Yeah, the mobile. I never played really a lot of the Xbox, like, what do they right. call it? Um, Garden Warfare. Yeah. I never really played those. But... Well, he was talking more about the mobile app, I think, too. Well, not necessarily. But the point being is that he was talking about how he designed it, created it, and how he's got... And the name of it was how I got my mother to play um, Plants vs. Zombies because she's like... Uh, I guess he's... Uh, <laughs> Asian descent, and she never played an ounce of video games, and all mm. of a sudden now he's got her playing it. And she solved it or something. Yeah, and he was talking about how he made it like addicting enough and stuff like that mm -hmm. for his mom. So it was kind of cool, uh, but I never really played the game. I didn't know if it was good or not to to jump into. It looked like kind of an eight bit game though, right? It's not very Friends like for zombies. Yeah, it depends. There's a ton of different versions. Oh, there is um, now. Yeah, he's making he's making his money um, on it. So yeah, so a lot of different things happening out there, playing, trying to keep uh, active in it, but. Um, Let's go. There's actually more a conversation in the news. Let's jump to the news. Joystick news report. Joystick news. Um, all right. So in the news, first of all, did you see um, the big, uh, I guess, news? Not to to uh, bury the lead is uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Six came mm -hmm. out with their trailer. Did you see it? Their trailer isn't out. Yeah, um, it is. The trailer's out. No, the um, they announced that they're gonna release the trailer. No, it just came out. Like, you haven't seen it? Like, this today. Today's the 4th or the 5th? Today's the 4th. It's supposed to come out tomorrow, the 5th. I just saw it online. Okay. And it said it was for releasing for the 2025th. Uh, oh, for 2025. I mean, 2025. Really? And the, the, watching it, and I can pull it up. If you want to pull it up, take a look at it. Um, you can do it after. Yeah. Is the... Uh, 
the truth of the matter is, I'm watching the whole thing thinking, you know, this is kind of cool and it's really realistic now. Mm -hmm. But because it's realistic, I didn't realize how shitty of a society we are. I mean, when you look at all the things that make it entertaining and fun, mm -hmm. is nothing but just, I mean, it's an old person's point of view now, right? That's why mm -hmm. we're talking generational differences, maybe. It's just all like, you know, gang crime and like, mm -hmm. you know, partying in like uh, mm -hmm. in the mud streets and like, I don't know, some crazy, crazy stuff. Certainly not my. Uh, not my uh, world that mm -hmm. I'm aware of. Uh, but maybe to jump into it would be fun again to do it. But it was pretty intense, though, as far as some of the stuff you could do. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. You, so, you just know about it, but you didn't see the trailer? Right. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Without seeing the trailer yet, I don't know how. I, 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 have a, I just have a bad feeling about that game. I don't think. I think they're going to focus too much on making it next-gen, new good graphics. Then they are going to make it an actual good game, which, yeah. which 5 was a really good game so yeah i don't know i don't think it's i just don't have any really hopes for it at all plus i didn't really like gta 5 that much yeah i didn't get into it yeah i played a little bit i mean i think i played about what a couple weeks of that which is a long time for me to play mm -hmm. on five so but uh yeah so six trailer check it out um it's dropped and uh also um the other thing is i saw the trailer for star wars um, um outlaws did mm -hmm. you see that now, we not. talked about oh. it once, I think, a while back, but when they first I talked about it. I saw a trailer it, a while ago. Did they release a new one? No, I don't know if it's the same thing with the, like, the little animal that it runs underneath the table. They're playing poker at the beginning. She's playing poker. I guess the lead ca character is a female. Yeah, it's that game like looks a, like a so terrible. Yeah? Just because the way that they have it set up where it's like, um, it's like space travel is... Um, it's kind of like a Starfield, basically, but but really? Star Wars themed is what it looks like. Starfield, Star Wars themed, but less freedom. Really, it looks like. So. Well, that's interesting because I, I was, uh, you know, watching it, going, okay. To me, I thought, well, maybe this is another Jedi game, just minus the Jedi mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? And it's a, you go through the whole campaign as a as a smuggler. Yeah. You know what I mean, not a Jedi. And I know you love the Jedi game, so maybe you know, it was something you'd like, but I don't know. I don't know. The Jedi games are fun. Jedi Survivor and Jedi uh, Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Yeah, those are fun, um, but that's because they focus on story and everything. Outlaws looks like it's just gonna focus on, you know, um, open world. Oh, really? See, I thought it was a story too, but maybe not. Uh, it's know. a little bit of both, I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything Star Wars. I mean, it looks like it's kind of set in the time period of you know, of you know the old school stuff, which mm -hmm. I like. I'm just you know just so kind of tired of. Uh, of all the lore, the new lore and stuff that's out and about, I mean, I think we're just getting inundated by it because it's mm -hmm. only stuff that actually sells. So we went overboard with that, Marvel yeah. and all the other stuff too. So um, it might be uh, shifting back a little bit. But um, speaking of that, as far as um, the news, and uh, we talked about you know what's excited us this year. Not a ton, right, across the board. Uh, we've been pretty busy and active with stuff to ourselves. Well, uh, they came out and they showed that 2022-23 was uh, a down year for gaming sales right really and oh yeah and you know i kind of look at it and say duh i mean you know versus what night uh 2021 yeah right? that was to, pandemic yeah. i mean i but, don't yeah i thought this was a good year as far as especially the beginning of the year yeah no but, sales overall were down and they said that you know i was like duh i mean they're trying to compare of course they all ramped up right mm -hmm. in 2021 with new designers developers because they're you know the, the demand was huge for it um mm -hmm. and then now they're i think ea like laid off 800 people i mean there's like a lot of mm -hmm. uh downsizing on that shifting too so i don't know how that's gonna happen but i mean what was um 2023 it was the best of 2023 you think what was what was it that kept the industry going i mean starfield is supposed to be but i don't think it's had a huge response or huge uh fanfare i don't know i just remember the early months being really good like March, um, April, and everything. Yeah. Um, Dying Light or what, no? no what um, was it? it came out. Uh, Breath, uh, Tears of the Kingdom came yeah. out. Um, what else came out? I know there was. There was like when was Zelda. There, there was were only early? two games. Oh, Spider Man Two came out, but I just haven't played it yet. Right. Um, Spider Man Two, Tears of the Kingdom, and Jedi Survivor alone make this a good year. Yeah. But I just can't think of anything else. Um. But yeah, I thought it was a good year. But I yeah. mean, well, uh, I don't know. It, it, you seem to be, I guess, sales wise, you're in a minority. But maybe then. Oh yeah, it was... sales wise, probably not great. But I'm just saying, as far as what games yeah. came out. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. So, um, you know, as we start looking in the future, what we can expect from 
2022 some of the highest anticipated games that are coming out right for that um one is wow what do we have here it's uh so we got destiny 2 oh is that like another dlc then yeah it says teaser trailer looks like it's uh destiny 2 the final shape is coming out it looks like it's for the better part of the decade wondering what the heck is going on with the traveler i guess this is like some kind of story finale or something the final shape okay so i guess they're gonna dive into it a little bit there as well so that's one thing that's due out next year um what else uh, this is next year you're saying, yeah 2024 so. releases um i don't know earth earth defense force have you heard anything about that nope Let's see. Final Fantasy, what is this, 830? No. Um, seven. Seven. Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth it is supposed to be out in the end of February. Now, it's for the PS5 only, though, or at least by the looks of it. Of course, I know Fantasy, uh, F- Final Fantasy was always a PC-based game, and I thought it came out for both platforms for a while, right? Well, according to this, it's got it on as, uh, I don't know, for uh, PS5. That's due out as well. Um, what else? Hades 2. Yeah. Hades 2, I know a lot of people are... That's a roguelike. Um, I played the first one. First one was really fun. In 2020? Um, first one was really fun. It felt kind of lacking in things to do, but it's also made by a very small company, I think. So, yeah. so it, was, it was really fun for yeah. what it was. It's got some good artwork, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, Homeworld 3 War Games. Oh, that's a co-op game. That looks pretty good. I wonder if that, what that's about. Looks like there's got a lot of different... Uh, uh, oh, actually... I don't know. Yeah. Oops. Um, the other way with it. But... Why is it like that? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That, that I like co-op games, so that looks pretty good. But I've never played Homeworld 1 or 2, so... For three to come out, and that's supposed to be anticipated. I guess they must have a decent, uh, decent clientele um, on it. Yeah, like I don't know. Dragon. Seems no. like there's not a lot if they're if they're talking about those right Little now. Little Nightmares three, uh, the first, the second game got a lot of traction, but I think that was just because um, it was came out in like 2020, so right. everyone was on. Like you're saying, Paper Mario. Paper Mario is that? What is that? Is that just a different series of Mario? Um, I guess, yeah. Yeah, they have uh, um, Persona Three Reload mm-hmm. coming out again. Don't know much about that. I mean, where's the real heavy game? Prince of Persia. Well, Persona's got its 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 yeah. heavy fan base. So yeah, it's... I mean, it looks like there's a lot of heavy fan base games coming out, but just not like like mass market games. Now, the Prince of Persia, that I remember something about that. There's a different version of that. That's out January. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime. I don't know. Um, Replaced. It's an Xbox game that they announced was was coming out. That was uh, is a rad. Looks. What is this called? What's an F A looking pixel art style cyberpunk game? No, no, nothing about it. An A F. Yeah. What is A F? I don't even know. Uh, Hellblade 2. None of these. Shadow of the Ninja. Oh my god. Skate story. This is just getting worse. Um, oh, Skull and Bones. What is that? Skull and Bones is a game. It's a pirate game that's like supposed to be like Sea of Thieves, but realistic, sort of. Really? Um, the only I... issue is you can't leave your ship. Wait, what? It's not like a Sea of Thieves in the sense that you can right, get off the ship the and go on islands and everything. It's so. more of like a just mainly ship battle. Right. Um, and it looks cool. Uh, it looks but I real think, cool. I think Sea of Thieves is the best pirate game to ever come out, and I don't think it's going to be beat anytime soon. Really? You think so, huh? Mm-hmm. I think I might have to go back and play, the, play that because, I don't know, I found it to be... I don't know. I don't know if I like the cartoony feel of it as much. Yeah. Where this one looks like it's a little more realistic. That's fair. But I think the cartoony works because, um, one, it it allows the game to be less, um, uh, less, what's the word? I guess 
consuming on on, on, on graphics. What your, and yeah, stuff. on what your computer needs to be. Yeah, true, valid. Um, and it makes everything more simple because you don't you don't want it it it, it doesn't it doesn't take away from the from how much you can do. It has everything that you'd want if you wanted to like play a pirate game. Like, right. Like you can like there's stories. The water too. There's stories that are like super cool, like hidden caves, like really like walls moving out of the way if you put such like a like a tomb into a stone or something it's oh, like wow so they've gone it's really cool story it's really cool pvp it's competitive pvp if you're one of those people if you're not one of those people it has like i said the story, story for modes. you yeah um the only issue with it is that it's all your money just goes to cosmetics which isn't even an issue it's just it it like what fixing up your ship or your yeah it, uniform it, or it your... lacks a sort of progression other than cosmetics gotcha. I guess. but that's pretty much it yeah well maybe i should go back to that i know oh security keeps saying we gotta go back and play that game mm. but um stalker 2 is uh coming out what is it heart of chernobyl dang i don't know what that is that looks pretty pretty cool but stalker i know that was a pretty decent game when it when it hit the scene back in the day um dark force remastered so they're actually bringing back now old games and just remastering it. Now this was a great game, I do have to admit. That they actually um, they make the graphics look better because I played this back in the day. Matter of fact, when this this the show was going on uh, back in the uh, early two thousands, this was a big uh, game that was out. And uh, I'm just curious to see if they uh, actually show you any game. Uh, yeah, so there's must be the original right there. So we're just looking at it and seeing like you know it was I can't say it was pixelated, but it certainly wasn't a uh, um, you know crazy good graphics game. And now oh so they're just kind of updating the the look of it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. If you like that game, and I, I enjoyed that game actually, it was a really good game at the time. And I just remember that was one of the early times when like shooting the gun really felt good. You know what I mean? Like, they had all these different kind of guns, and it just mm -hmm. felt good when you shot, so it's kind of nostalgic, for sure, so it might be worth checking out, especially if it's on Game Pass or something as well. Um, what else? Oh, of course, uh, we got the world premiere of Out, um, Outlaws that we just talked about, right? Coming out, I guess that would be the big game. Mass, mass market game. Yeah. What else? Um, Suicide Squad? No. I don't know. That might not be bad. I don't, I don't I don't I yeah we'll just have to see I don't know I've heard, I've seen some things on it that seem really cool yeah but yeah. I have a feeling it's just going to be like the Guardians of the Galaxy game that came out a bit ago right it was cool but it wasn't it didn't catch my attention it wasn't that fun I played it for a little bit yeah well, as, as the graphics look cool as, as heck for sure but cool that looks uh DC World we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out um Tekken 8 it's number 8 so it's got to be doing pretty well if it's on it's number 8 version of it um Vampire Bloodlines that's uh, actually Bloodlines 2 it's already had one out as well so I don't know there's some stuff but I mean if you think about it as far as mass games I don't think what didn't see much at all outside of the out, Outlaws yeah really everything else is kind of like you know community or tribal games you know bunch of people playing mm -hmm. collectively so i don't know maybe there's digging into what they, the communities that they you know they have versus trying to go and get new ones yeah because people are spending less time they're saying out there you know um, a lot of other options to do too so i don't know pretty interesting stuff all right i think uh anything else i think that's it right for the news this concludes your joystick news report joystick news. okay um so interesting enough um when we talk about the the riff i don't know is the uh Riff Rat. Is the Meta 3 in, in it in for uh, Christmas or no? What are we doing on that? Do we have to ask Santa? I know we got to write our list, our naughty and nice list. Do you um, think we should, should we ask for that or no? Meta 3. I don't know. I haven't been hearing much about it. Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I've I don't heard know. a lot of people say um, that, I mean, main, mainly the only like VR things that have been going around are um the advances on like crazy technology for it like stuff that's not marketed to outside yet like like the the treadmills or, or yeah um 
suits or, or whatever it is. Oh, right, but, um, right. Yeah. I well, I'm know. waiting for that one to happen. Like I said, I'm turning this room into a one of those treadmill rooms of Canada. That's what I need to be doing to work out, quite mm. frankly. You know, yeah. get on one of those and play. I do that every night. Um, yeah. That'd be cool. But, um, well, I, I did notice with the Meta 3, there was um, the cool one of the coolest things. I don't know, did you see the video where they shot? It was, what is his name? Lex Freeman, mm-hmm. right? He interviewed uh, Zuckerberg, mm-hmm. and they did it remotely, but they did right. it with Meta 3s. Yeah. And they scanned their faces and did something or whatever. And it literally, he said the whole time, he was just blown away how he felt mm-hmm. like he was right there talking to him. Yeah. Did you see the video or not? I, I didn't watch all of it, but I saw like clips. Clips of it? Like, yeah. yeah, it was pretty crazy. I watched the whole interview. Yeah. And it was cool to watch. I mean, that is amazing when you can look around and you think, you know, his facial recognition, everything was mm-hmm. like to the T on it. So, and that was with using uh, Meta 3s uh, technology. Yeah. So, that was kind of cool as well. So, yeah, I don't know. There wasn't much out there I see, and I don't know if it's worth picking up or not um, on it. Uh, but. That's what's happening on the riff. Deal of the week. All right, deal of the week. Um, Did you... I didn't see much that was out there. I do know that, I mean... (laughs) Given maybe the the sales are being so are being lower this year. First of all, you have no problem getting a hold of a console now, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. I remember what my ex right took how long to get my Xbox uh, seven months right after uh, after or Christmas six, six months yeah. yeah I think uh, they're overstocked so I'm betting you might get some good deals here in the next uh, coming week or so. I know we talked about a few of them. But yeah, all the Black Friday deals that came and went were about fifty dollars off. Right, which we said we thought they were going to be. So I looked at it. So not not great deals, but not bad. Right, right, on it as well. Um, I don't know. Are you still thinking on the PS Five or no? With the the game. Uh, the what do you mean? Like the price? Yeah. Or the yeah to get to get the game. What? Um, are you thinking about getting a uh, PlayStation? Um, just for that game. The I know you're thinking about last show. Five, yeah, me and me and um, a buddy of mine were thinking like, um, we both want one for just for Spider Man Two, <laughs> which is the same thing that I wanted a four for five years ago when right. Spider Man One came out. Yeah, because you haven't bought a game since. Um, for it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I bought God of War on it because that was a PS4. Oh, exclusive. did you? Um, yeah, I played the other Spider the Miles Morales game that came right. out on it. Um, but that's it, two games for the whole console. And I played like a few others that were on it, but yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. So, oh, and the Uncharted's, I tried, but I want to play those, which are you think they're gonna actually those are on PC now, but yeah. um, and actually, so is God of War to, to be <laughs> it is and so is Spider Man, but only the first one. Yeah, but that um, didn't come out right away. Though. Yeah, yeah it, it'll be like it two took a while years yeah. after. Yeah. But um. Yeah, so like we were thinking, oh, I'll sell my four to get the five for cheaper. But I mean, the five, like, if you're comparing the, if you're comparing the PS to the Xbox right now, it's like, you kind of, it's just whatever you want to play, basically. Right. right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> it seems like a hard one it. to drop. It's like four. What? Even if you bought the one that's just downloadable, right, online. It's still what three three twenty five. It's more than that. Uh, just downloadable is fifty bucks off. Right off of what three ninety nine? Right four so, five hundred. Oh, so it's four fifty. So the I don't I don't actually know no, for sure. No, I think it's cheaper than that. I think it's like the three something. The main one five hundred. Yeah. Main one but no disc. disc. No, main one no disc four fifty, and then and then slim. Right is maybe like. 400 or the slim is the no disc i don't know i don't know much about it but yeah yeah so well we gotta figure that out coming soon for sure um all right so that's it um and then lastly new releases we just pretty much talked about it coming out right Uh, we just went through 04 prediction um on all this Um, the anticipated games obviously um outlaws when it hits um and that'll be the big uh, expectation new releases, but I don't see a lot of uh, anything else that's uh, that's rip roaring that that's to be looked for. But so I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like what yeah, outside of the Spider Man game, like there isn't nothing right now anticipated that's gonna make you go, oh my god, I gotta go get that 
Well, get oh, for console. Christmas, you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, I mean, what's the game everybody needs for Christmas? I don't know if there is. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. That's weird. I used to have, there's always seems to be like one game, you know? Even if it sucks Recently, when it it's been out. like kids, um, kids becoming old enough um, and wanting PCs. Right. And then, and that that's almost every year thing because they're sure. so, right. either you're upgrading well, or you just haven't had one. Have you ever seen how new, the new uh, PC laptops, how crazy good mm-hmm. they are? Uh, laptops Opecular, are good. Yeah, yeah Opecular just bought a gaming laptop for 2500 bucks, mm-hmm. and it's crushing it. Really good. Yeah, really good for that price. Um, so, portable and everything, too. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, to me, that seems like the thing to buy, especially if you're... Yeah, yeah it all depends. It, I mean, you know? if you don't travel at all... Yeah, if you don't, maybe not, but even with traveling, I can't... It's hard for me to, like, play tabletop simulator on it and do different stuff on my Apple, you know what uh-huh. I mean? So, I don't know. So, look for maybe... Uh, um, a good uh, PC laptop for sure. And get get your get your Steam on. Now that everything's out, like you just said, everything's on uh, on Steam now, pretty much, right? They released all the good games. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, even yeah, because all the Microsoft th- exclusives are on PC already, and and they they realize that they can get a PS, PS can get a lot of sales if they go to PC. So it's right. Most of it's on. Yeah, and then they feel like they're they're not crossing streams right people that play the console yeah i'm not gonna do it so cool <laughs> all right that's the show is there anything else i think we covered it um we appreciate you guys listening like i said we'll try to keep you updated on what's happening uh our take on it as well if you want to be a part of the show and give us your take please how did they do that you can get a hold of us at joystick underscore show on twitter joystick show.com joystick show at gmail.com and uh at joystick space show Very cool. All right, that's it. Until next time, my son, game on. The Joystick Show.